Okay, we have to take another integral. This one's from the UK Immigration B, problem 11. We have the integral of 1 over 1 plus 10x dx. Okay, I had an alternative method suggested to me in the comments by Dan Dap, which I wanted to give a try, but it was really different than my method, so I want to see how it goes. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually want to multiply in cosine x over cosine x in order to, this will help me get everything in terms of sines and cosines. So when we do that, we have cosine x in the numerator. Cosine x times one is cosine x. Cosine x times tangent, tan sine over cosine. So the cosines cancel and we just have sine x here. And then here what we do is we're just gonna multiply by the conjugate and I'll do the same thing here in the numerator. And then doing this, let's just multiply everything out. So for the first term here, this is gonna become cosine squared x. The second term we're gonna get minus sine x cos x. I didn't leave any room for a dx, so let me just kind of squeeze it in there for now. And then here, this is gonna become, because the difference of squares, we're gonna end up with cosine squared x minus sine squared x. Now the nice thing about this is now we can use a bunch of trig identities, because if we, like here, this one's the same thing as cosine two x. And if I'm gonna convert one, if I'm gonna convert the angle on one, we probably want everything to have the same angle, so let's do it here as well. If I multiply in a two here, this becomes sine two x, but I don't wanna change it, so I'll multiply by a half in front, so we still have the same thing here. And then for here, I can make this two x as well, just using the formula cosine squared x, I can write it as one half plus one half cosine two x. So then let's rewrite all this and see what we have. But first, notice we have a half in everything in the numerator. So let me factor one half in front for all that stuff. Then in the numerator, we end up with one plus cosine two x, minus sine 2x, and then we just have this cosine 2x in the denominator. But now let's just divide the cosine 2x into everything. We could split it into three separate integrals, but I think I'm just gonna do it like all as one, because it doesn't really matter. So the first one, dividing into one, we're gonna end up with secant 2x, then cosine over cosine 2x, that's just a one. And then here, this last one, this is gonna be minus tan 2x. But then here, this is just three easy things to integrate. We'll have this one half out front, we'll leave that. Here, this is just gonna be natural log secant two x plus tan two x. But then for this two, let's bring a two out in the denominator, let's just write it like this. Here, this is just gonna become a plus x. And then here for this, we can write this as minus natural log secant two x. And again, bring the two into the denominator, parentheses, add a plus c, and that's it. Okay, there you have it. I think this solution probably looks quite a bit different because everything's in terms of double angles. You could mess with it and get it back and I think it would be the same. Hopefully it would be the same. Anyway, that's it for today. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.